Hello again. Welcome to a two out of seven part YouTube series where I'll be discussing, informing, and giving my own argument about the Chinese Cultural Revolution. So in the last video, I didn't give you much information about what actually took place in the Cultural Revolution, mostly just like with the events that led up to it and why they're important. Now in this video, I'm actually going to give you the historical context of what actually happened during the Chinese Cultural Revolution. So well, how did it all start? Well, as we said before, the Great Leap Forward was just a complete failure on Chairman Mao's part, and it sort of like degraded his authority and sort of like over his overall status in the government. So to try to recover this, he devised up this cultural revolution of his. Now overall, the Chinese cultural revolution lasted between May 16th of 1966 all the way to 1971. And the whole ideology of this event was that the Chinese, the current communist leaders of China were steering China in the wrong direction in order to fix this. They needed, like, they needed to purge these impure, elements of traditional Chinese society. And as you would have guessed, a lot of these impure elements are more capitalist in nature. Well, how did Mao accomplish this? Well, to start off, he first shut down all of the nation's schools and gathered all of the youth, essentially, into this one like big meeting. And he essentially brainwashed them, brainwashed these kids into viewing more traditional elements of Chinese society as evil, and eventually these students formed groups known as the Red Guards. And essentially these Chinese Red Guards will attack anyone that didn't go along with or subscribe to Chairman Mao's ideology, also known as Maoism. And as a result, a lot of the Chinese elders and the intellectual population were attacked, and sometimes even their own teachers were beaten up really badly within their own classrooms. It was almost like a cult in which that people would even carry their own little like books containing Mao's ideology written in there, like a, almost like a Bible. In addition, there were people that are humiliated and even killed in public. The numerous massacres that took place within this time, either caused by the Red Guards killing people or the Red Guards having conflict with government different government factions like the militias, the military, or and government officials that didn't agree with Mao's ideology. Some communist leaders were even taken out of position by Mao and replaced by people who he saw fit. And the, at one point, the Red Guards got so out of control that Mao had to relocate 17 million of them from urban to rural areas to just due to the pure urban anarchy that was going on. But here's the main bulk of the Chinese Cultural Revolution. Why was it called a Cultural Revolution? Well, the main reason is because the Red Guards were specifically targeting the four olds of China. Old cultures, old customs, old habits, and old ideas of Chinese culture. Essentially, all of China's long-lasting history and culture were, to, were seen as completely useless in Mao's eyes. And the whole point of the Cultural Revolution really was to destroy all of China's history and culture and replace it based on Maoist ideals, essentially. Some examples being that libraries were destroyed, ancient texts and books were burned, historical sites and relics were just destroyed, temples were burned down, and some Buddhist priests even had to destroy their own monasteries. Now, within time, obviously, everything started to get fixed, and under new leadership, by the way, not from Mao, because the government was also within inter had internal conflict with each other, and but as, as I said before, in time, things started to get better and better. And overall, around 1.5 million people were estimated to be killed within the Cultural Revolution. And millions of others suffered from either imprisonment, torture, public humiliation, or their property stolen or destroyed by the Red Guards. That around sums it up for the historical context. Uh, the next few videos, I'll be giving my thesis and my own arguments on this historical topic. And if you want to see more, please subscribe and like the video.